For the second quarter of 2018, almost all large U.S. banks, except for Wells Fargo, saw improved bottom line results on a year-over-year -year basis. While net income will broadly continue to be structurally higher on lower effective tax rates, earnings are also being augmented by solid revenue growth, good cost controls, and a sustained benign credit environment. Net interest margins also continued to expand, particularly relative to a year ago, with a median of 15 basis points of expansion. Banks with large portions of their loan portfolios tied to the short end of the rate curve have seen the most rate expansion. In addition, U.S. banks once again saw a bump up in commercial and industrial lending, driving overall loan balances higher. Banks experienced the highest level of year-over-year -year loan growth in five quarters. Many noted that commercial clients are showing strong confidence, driving a pickup in discretionary and capital expenditure spending. For banks with meaningful capital markets activities, higher equity underwriting and equity trading revenues helped their results in the quarter, which in aggregate were at the third highest level in three years. Total debt underwriting revenues fell 4% from the year ago period, which was a record level. This was due to the impact of U.S. tax legislation and higher rates on investment grade issuance. Trading revenues increased 9% year over year with a 7% increase in FIC and 14% improvement in equity trading. This reflects favorable macro trends which supported corporate and investor activity despite lower volatility when compared to first quarter. Many banks warned that future loan growth and credit quality could be impacted by potential trade frictions caused by tariffs. While banks haven't seen a meaningful impact yet from trade frictions, sizable tariffs that affect multiple trade partners could put the brakes on commercial borrowing due to the unknown impact on the economy. In addition, deposit price increases and the effect of Fed tightening on terminal betas are front of mind for management. For many banks, betas have already hit terminal levels for wealth and commercial deposits. Overall deposit betas will be driven by retail depositors' demand. Consumer betas could remain depressed into 2019, especially if loan demand doesn't warrant a run-up in funding needs. Various management teams also highlighted the build-out of digital-only deposit platforms. JP Morgan, PNC, and U.S. Bancorp all discussed the planned rollout of new national retail digital strategies in an effort to serve customers beyond the bank's existing retail banking footprint. This should aid their ability to remain competitive for retail deposits.